Hi, I'm Eric Therese. I'm the bar manager over at Charlie Palmer in South Coast Plaza, Bloomingdale's. Uh, today's uh, drink for the Digital Happy Hour is the Smoking Monk. Now, the Smoking Monk is just pretty much a variation on a Manhattan. Now, Manhattan traditionally is very simple. It's just sweet vermouth, a little bit of bourbon. Uh, anyone will do. This one will be Knob Creek. And then, for example, bitters. Very simple. That's your traditional Manhattan. Now, a Manhattan you can be very creative with and you can do whatever you want. My variation, I call it the Smoky Monk. We're going to use Carpano Antica as a sweet vermouth. We're going to do a little bit of Knob Creek as the bourbon. But we're also going to use Reagan Orange Bitters. And now this is where the fun really gets going. Instead of doing, uh, you know, I'm going to alter the portions a little bit and I'm going to do Benedictine and Grand Marnier, which I think adds a really good complexity to the drink. Now, Benedictine is a liqueur made by monks back in the day, which is where we get the monk name from. And you'll see where we get the smoking part from as well. So, Knob Creek first. About an ounce and a half. Always want to chill your glass beforehand. Get it nice and cold. We'll leave that right there. Let it get cold. Now we're going to add uh, just a splash of Benedictine. A splash of Grand Marnier. About a quarter ounce each. And now we add the sweet vermouth. We use Carpano Antica. We find that it adds a lot, it's a lot more richer than traditional sweet vermouth. And as you can see, the drink's already getting that nice orange color to it. And finally, we finish it off with Regan Orange Bitters. Ice it. Now here's the important part about a Manhattan. This is where you would expect me to grab this tin and start shaking it. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna stir it. Stirring it prevents the uh, drink from getting um, bruised. And rule number one, pretty much, most people ask me, when do you shake, when do you stir? Time you stir is when it's mainly all liquor. That's your number one clue. The only drink really that you're gonna shake that's all liquor is pretty much a Negroni. But the uh, Manhattan's martinis are always stirred. So, there we go. Should be getting nice. Now you let it rest for about a minute. About 30 seconds actually. Who can wait a minute for a drink? Um, and you let it sit there for a minute and then let me just get my julep strainer. Pour out the water. Glass should be nice and frosty cold now. So, now we've let it rest. We've let the water naturally infuse itself with the drink and it hasn't been in a harsh sort of manner. It's done nice and smoothly. Grab the julep strainer. Nice little orange color from the Grand Marnier and the Benedictine. Now, this is where the smoking part is coming. Take a lighter, grab an orange, and a knife. Typically, in a Manhattan, you would put a cherry, but on this one, I'm gonna do an orange peel, because the oils will give a nice little rim on top. Now. Dale de Grog again, but with a very good way of uh, bringing out the oil. Simply light it, and there you go. It's all on top. That's where the smoking comes from, the Smoky Monk. Oh yeah, it's as good as it looks.